Hey guys, my name is Hillary with Barbell Acres, and today I'm bringing to you a very simple recipe. Um, this is our raw milk yogurt that we make in the Instant Pot. So you know I love my Instant Pot, you know I love very easy recipes, and this is definitely one of them. I try different yogurt making recipes and they all seem very again, overwhelming to me and just um, I've tried working in my oven and just all the things and I found that this one works the best and it's also the simplest. So that's a win-win for me. So we, how we start is we start with our raw milk. So this is really important to me that this yogurt stays raw. So I don't want to heat it um, over 105 degrees. Um, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna use our raw milk Shout out to the family cow where I get all my raw milk products. Um, and then we're going to use ideally organic yogurt. So already you can get this from the store. I'm using um, one that I got at my local Amish market. So, but yeah, make sure that the insert and the lid are both clean properly. And all you do is you pour the entire gallon of the raw milk. Pour that in, then you're gonna pour one cup of yogurt in. Then you're gonna get a whisk, and you're gonna make sure it is mixed well into the milk. We're gonna, I have the yogurt function on mine, but you could also hit the sous vide button. Um, so I'm gonna get a yogurt. When I hit the yogurt button, it automatically makes it for 24 hours. And that's the time I want it. So, and we, we just let it sit for 24 hours, we do nothing. Um, but if you don't have that function on your Instant Pot, that's totally fine. You can use the sous vide and set it for 24 hours. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wait one full day and then I'll check back. Okay, so it has been 24 hours, so let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna stir it. It looks perfect. You can eat it like this. Um, I typically put it in the fridge to set a little bit more, just to kind of solidify. I will say if you're used to um, store-bought yogurt this is a little runnier um, a way to rectify that is you can make it Greek yogurt by doing this right now you basically take a cheesecloth over a strainer and separate the whey from the yogurt curds and that will make Greek yogurt so that's a great option as well I don't do that I typically just eat it like this because I use it for a lot of smoothies so I almost don't mind the runnier consistency um, and like I said it will it will firm up a little bit in the fridge but I think it's great you can uh, flavor it with vanilla extract fruit honey you know all the different things sugar even um, I just like I said I use it for a lot of smoothies but when I do make a yogurt bowl I typically put honey and some freezer fruit or just kind of fresh fruit and protein powder I mix in and that's like a nice really balanced snack or lunch even for reference, this is, I think, a three and a half or four quart um, bowl, glass bowl, and it completely fills it to the entire, to the top. So it makes a lot of yogurt. This is definitely less expensive than buying store-bought yogurt in just like the little tubs like we were doing. Um, another thing is if you want to inoculate the next batch, you just basically save a cup of this right off the bat. You keep that separate. And then when you're ready, you can start another batch. I would say this is good in the fridge for, you know, several weeks. We keep it for over two weeks and it's completely fine. Um, but I would say about two weeks is probably your threshold there. Um, but yeah, we love it. It's so simple. I almost like hate making a video like this because it's just the most simple thing. You just basically dump it into the Instant Pot. So the yogurt has set all night. So I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna make this a meal. So I'm gonna do a serving and a half. Then add some honey. 
honey. And you're just a serving of honey. Here I am just heating and kind of making a stewed fruit slightly. So this is blueberries. Don't like to eat them frozen, so I do heat them up, add them to my yogurt bowl. All right, and that is the finished product. Top it with some bee pollen and it is super delicious. So that is it. Um, it's very simple. Like I said, it's, it's almost like not really a tutorial at all just because you kind of just dump it. Um, but we love it. I uh, just showed one of my favorite recipes. So that is how I eat it as a meal. I typically eat it for lunch or I put it in smoothies. Um, I'm adding a lot of powders and things to it so I don't mind like a runnier consistency, but you can totally strain <laughs> you can totally strain the whey off and make a Greek yogurt. And that's also super good as well. So if you try it, let me know. And yeah, I hope this was helpful in some way. Um, please like and subscribe if you have not already. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.